Hey everyone, this is Onion. It's Sunday, March 21st. Uh, today I'm going to go over IDEX with you. Uh, we're going to look at some technical insight, uh, short selling activity, institutional activity, uh, the Reuters report, and the uh, quant computer estimates. Uh, on IDEX, I like to use a six month uh, week chart, uh, and I've been following it and, and reporting on it uh, for about two weeks now. And I mentioned back here, uh, once the 21 day and 50 day moving average crosses, uh, we're going to start following the 21 day. Uh, downward, and, and that's what's been happening here. Uh, now, the, if you look at the 21-day moving average, it is starting to look like it's going to curl up a little bit. Uh, and with the other indicators, the lower indicators down here, it looks like you know we've found bottom, uh, and you know things are start are going to start going sideways for a while. Um, if we look at the RSI, you can see um, you know you're you're right at 40. Uh, what is it, 45. So, um, you know, pretty much right in the middle. It can go either way. Uh, but like I said, the indicators are pointing, uh, you know, a little bit upward, slightly upward, but but mainly sideways here. Uh, your support and your resistance lines, uh, based on the last 100 bars, is uh, your support is 307 and your uh, uh, resistance is at $3.18. Uh, so we look at the uh, the short selling activity here. Uh, it was it wasn't you know that much off uh, on Friday as it as it has been. You can see here this is from February 22nd. Uh, and it's usually, you know, low to mid 20s. Uh, there are some high days here, but you know, it was at 23% on Friday. Uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, really. Um, the borrow rate on Friday was 2.86%, uh, but there was only 1 million shares available, so that, you know, that might have been the reason uh, the short selling uh, dropped off a little bit. Uh, now, the institutional uh, filings um, for the put and call ratios uh, that the institutions buy a value here of one would be equal uh, put and call uh, buying. So you can see here there's a little bit more weight on the uh, on the put side. Uh, the latest filing um, was on March 1st uh, that was reported, and uh, that was Blackstone. They uh, reported a 74,000 uh, share uh, short position. Uh, so in in total, you have 76 owners, uh, and uh, the ownership percent is 7.29 percent of the float. Now if we look here, this is the uh, the Morningstar Quant Computer uh, Analysis. Uh, they give it a fair value of four dollars and twenty-five cents. You can see they've been, you know, uh, following this company for quite a while. So uh, you know they they have a pretty good grip on it. There are a few um, numbers that are missing uh, current the twenty twenty numbers in here, but so that's why their uh, their fair value is is considered you know extreme uncertainty. But you can see here there is a pretty large gap from what the quant computers say it's worth and and what the actual share price is right now. Um, this is the uh, the Reuters report. If you don't get this report, it's it's really good. I like it, um, but uh, they don't really cover a lot on IDEX. So I'm just going to scroll down. Um, you know, if, if you can always uh, pause whenever you want and take a look at it. There's not a lot of sections that are measured here. Like you can see here, there's a lot of data that's not available. But you know, there are some things on here. Um, usually with larger companies, uh, you know, this is a very very good report. So I'm just going to scroll right to the bottom here, and I'll just show you. Uh, oh, that's all there. Stuff there. So here are your top uh, insiders uh, holding. Um, you know, you got the, all the information there, and here are your top institutional holders and their the percentage that they own. Um, so that's that's pretty much it uh, with IDEX. There's not a lot of uh, not a lot of action right now. You know, the volume's kind of you know been even lately, and you know we're, we're just following this 21 day moving average. So you know it looks like it's going to be like that for the rest of the week. Uh, or at least the start of the week. We're going to need Monday, Tuesday t to see. Um, but you know, like I said, that that is curling up a little bit. So it looks like we, you know, we pretty much hit bottom, I believe. So uh, I hope this video helps. Uh, have a great trading week next week, and take care.